today our title is the physical body and analysis. Really, Buddhism. Buddhism teaches us the reality of our outer environment, reality of the universe, and reality of man and other beings. When we are going to analyze our physical body, so we have to focus our attention to certain areas of our doctrinal matters. In the Diganikai, also we find certain explanations of the physical body. And in some other sutras of the Majjhimanikai, also especially in the Abhidhammanikai, we find certain analytical explanations of our physical body and also of consciousness. In the Dhamma Sangini, the first book of Abhidhamma Pitaka, it gives very clear cut explanation of Rupa or Rupa Khanda, our physical body. As we all know that there are four major elements related to our body, physical body. It consists of four major elements. That is Patavidatu, Apodatu, Tejodatu and Vayudatu. Patavidatu means the solid or the earth element. Apodatu, the liquid or water element. Tejo dhatu, heat or fire element. Vayo dhatu, motion or wind element. These are the four major elements that are found in our physical body. And one extra thing is there, there is consciousness. Outside world also we find the same thing. The earth element, the water element, the heat element, the wind element, and space, empty space, Akasadhatu. So these are the five major, thing, five major things that we find in outer environment. Then we can turn our attention to the Dhamma Sangini, the first book of Abhidhamma Vitaka. It gives the explanation of Rupa or physical body. Besides those four main elements, that there are physical sense organs of seeing, chakku, hearing, sovata, smelling, gandha, tasting, rasa, uh, body, kai. Then also we have physical sense objects related to those physical sense organs. That is form. Rupa, sound, sadd, order, good smell and bad smell, gandha, and uh, rasa, taste. And beside those uh, major parts and their objects and major elements, the Dhamma Sangini explains, it uses uh, some other words to give a list related to our physical body. Ittindriya, femininity. Purisindriya, virility. Hadevatthu, physical base of mind. Kaya vinyakti, bodily expressions. Vachi vinyakti, verbal expressions. Rupa jivita, physical life. Akasa Dhatu, space element. Rupasa Lahuta, physical agility, that means able to move quickly. Rupasa Muduta, physical elasticity. Rupasa Kamanyata, physical adaptability, able to change. Rupasa Upacha, 
physical growth, rupasa santati, physical continuity, jara, decay, anicchata, impermanence, ahara, nutrient. These are the major uh, words used in the Dhamma Sangini, uh, that is the first book of Amidhamma Pitaka to give a sort of explanation about our physical body. Then we find two special things that is Hadaya uh, Vattu. Hadaya Vattu means heart. The explanation, in accordance with the explanation, it says Hadaya Vattu or the heart is the physical base of our mind. So we have to focus our attention to that explanation. Physical base of our mind. What do we mean by that? In our heart, it is the center of purification of blood. It is the center. So, originally, after birth, uh, that Hadayavattu or the heart is the base of our mind, origin of our mind. With the help of pure blood, they are inside our physical, I mean, inside our heart, O Hadevattu, the mind arises. So after that, it may be functioning in various parts of our body, especially in the brain. But first, at first, the original base of our mind is Hadaya Vattu for the heart and in accordance with Abhidham explanations it is with the help of pure blood that is found inside our heart mind arises and there is another word Akasa uh, that means space element inside our heart there is some space there Inside our lungs, there is some space there. Such places are called space element or akasada. Then we go to the intestines or stomach. When we do not take food, certain places are empty. So empty spaces are there inside our physical body. That's why it says akasada to a space element. The other uh, parts of our body and other uh, characteristics that uh, we can understand very easily. Our physical body is really very weak. It is not permanent. It is like a clay pot. One word, one special Pali word is given to our physical body, Viduro, that is perishable. Prajai. And in other words, Vedana Sabhavo, nature of destruction. Then in other words, we find Vidhansana Bhavo, nature of falling down. So, besides this explanation given in the Dhamma Sangini and some other sutras, the commentary gives a very clear and simple explanation about our physical body. The commentator also has taken certain verses from the original text. Now, shall we draw our attention to the verses and their meanings and explanations uh, given by the commentator uh, in certain places of the country. Nalla chamma pati channo navadvaro mahavano samantato pangarati asuchi puti gandayo It says, our physical body is covered with